a desktop. So that's for the recap. Uh, what we also uh, covered last week, it was creating a sequence of uh, five or six posts uh, uh, on the same theme. So it could be advertising your class, creating in one, uh, in one sequence uh, with small alterations, uh, but the same theme and the same so sort of content with small variation. So that was last week's um, uh, group task. Today, we're going to uh, start something completely new, completely different. We will come back to social media. Uh, so that will give you time to practice a little bit more and, and maybe um, get, uh, get trying with uh, the social media uh, post creation in the meantime. So today we are uh, going to talk about introductions. Um, so bios and introductions. So, uh, today is just an introduction to creating your uh, bios and introductions. And for that, I'm going to share, start with sharing my screen, which by the way, I realized by reviewing last week's training video, when I was talking and, and going through my sheets, it wasn't showing on your screen. I only realized that um, when I reviewed the video, as I was talking, I was referring to a sheet which I, I thought was showing on screen, but wasn't. So I have shared the sheets I was um, uh, talking about uh, in last week's training. I shared it in the group. It's something you can download uh, and I will um, tag you so you can find it. So are we ready for today's group task? Thumbs up everyone. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> Nina, Sangeeta. Yes, yes. Uh, Vivian and, and Maria. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let me share my screen and I'll make sure that um, everyone can see. Can everyone see? Yes. Yes. Fabulous. Yes. Okay, so introduction uh, to creating your business. This stands for business, business uh, bio or business introduction. Um, and your group task uh, this week is going to be creating four variation of your intro, your, of your bio. Um, and it's going to be, um, I, so very short, in few words, is the variation number one. Uh, we have, I think, Nicola joining us. Uh, how do I remove this? Okay. Hello, Nicola. Hello, Nicola. Hello, Nicola. Can you hear us? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Ask to unmute. Hi. Whoa, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. <laughs> oh, you're here. Are you okay, Nicola? Because I know things have changed a bit with Zoom now and you've got to do this, that and the other and, and it's just taking forever to come on, but I'm here. Hello. You're here. Well done, well done. We're just starting. We're just starting. Okay. Uh, we've got another whole 20 minutes together. So no panic, no panic, Nicola. So um, we, we actually just finished what we covered last week and uh, we had a little bit of a recap. So this is, uh, today we're starting something new, which is uh, an introduction to creating your, uh, your own business bio or your business intro. And um, today's to-do group task will be creating four different variation of, um, of your introduction. Um, so the first version, very simple, in few words, I am, and, and I'm going to elaborate, okay? Uh, this is just what I'm going to ask you to do, to keep that in mind. Uh, variation uh, of your intro number two is in few sentences. So starting from what you started at the beginning, I am, adding, I help. Um, and then I'm going to ask you um, 
uh, introduction version number three, which is a medium one, something a little bit bigger. And to finish off, uh, writing something much, uh, much longer like uh, this one, for example. So why do we need to uh, prepare and work on those intros and bios? Well, simply because we use them everywhere on social media. We use them on uh, the Facebook page uh, in the section about us. We, we use them on a LinkedIn profile, on your uh, Instagram accounts, um, in blogs as well. When you, when you write your blog, um, there is uh, an introduction about the author. You can also use it in your signature in, in the blogs. In your website, in, your, uh, uh, in the about you section of your website. Um, and it can also be uh, used um, in, uh, as, a, as a speaker intro. So if you're going to do a presentation at an event online or face-to-face, uh, -face, um, very often the organizer will ask you, please send me over your bio or your intro. And they will very, uh, usually they will tell you um, short one or long one, or you can indicate to them, I have a long one, feel free to crop any of the um, information uh, that you feel is right to introduce me. So you can have, uh, this is why I'm asking you to prepare four uh, different versions, uh, because depending on the platform, you'll have different uh, lengths, but also you might have, uh, you might have to adjust as well the tone, the voice that you use when you introduce yourself with uh, your uh, intro, with your bios. Um, for example, when you introduce yourself in Facebook groups, uh, it's much more informal, as you know, as it is if you were to introduce yourself in LinkedIn uh, groups. Um, so although you're going to prepare uh, templates, uh, templates, of your uh, intro, you will still need to do little variations when you post them. And my advice to you would be to uh, keep them in your Google Drive. Uh, this is something that we mentioned in the previous um, sessions. Google has a lot of uh, amazing tools available, such as the blog, um, and it also have the drive, uh, which is really useful. So you can create a Word document um, that you will upload and keep in your Google Drive. And the reason it's very useful to keep there is because A, whenever you work on your document, your Word document, which is uh, saved on your Google Drive, it will update uh, automatically. It will uh, save automatically. Um, but also you can access your Google Drive very easily. You can access it uh, on your mobile phone uh, if, you, if you have to on the go. That's, as if, that's if you downloaded uh, the um, Drive, Google Drive app. Uh, you can also share that document. So that document that you're going to create, uh, your bio, your introduction, uh, coming back to the example that I have given about the, the event uh, where you're going to be uh, delivering a talk or a presentation, you could share your bio uh, through Google, uh, the documents. There is an option share by adding the email address of the person uh, you want to share it with without having you to send it by email. So those are some of the very uh, useful uh, options that Google um, offers. Uh, can I have a thumb up from everyone? Everyone good so far? Excellent. We're doing good with time. Uh, we're halfway there, so we're doing really good. Please make sure that uh, you, I, I, I can see some of you writing down, which is great. Uh, please make sure you make note of any questions you might have. Um, if we don't have time to cover your questions here, uh, please do send me your questions later. Um, so let's get started with, um, with the first one. Um, and I will share this template. Um, I will share with uh, this template by email uh, later. 
and upload it on the units in Facebook group. So the first thing is I am. Um, so it sounds pretty obvious, but sometimes it takes a little bit of time to think um, exactly how you want to formulate um, this very short introduction. It is an introduction. Um, and it's not because it's short that it's easy. At the opposite, sometimes it's very difficult. So can I just check with all of you, um, Sangeeta, Nina, Nicola, Vivian, and Maria, uh, who wants to share uh, their uh, I am uh, introduction with uh, everyone here? If, you, if you're happy uh, to share, if you're comfortable and, and happy with the one you currently have. Uh, usually, my quick one is I'm a visual artist and an art teacher. That's my first uh, one-liner. Very good. I saw that Nina and Nicola have raised your hands. Uh, Nina? Um, <clears throat> so, the, in, in just one sentence, I say I'm, I am an accredited mindfulness teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, very good, very good, Nina. Nicola, you raised your hand as well? That was pretty untangling, but I will say anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but I normally just say that I'm um, Nicola English and I'm a, a personal style coach, licensed personal style coach. Excellent. This is all very good. And there is no right, no wrong. Um, mm -hmm. Let me share, uh, let me share here. Um, I have different ways of introducing myself in, in a few words, depending on where I uh, introduce myself. So for example, um, Ariane, uh, so use your first name uh, as you have, most of you have uh, used um, uh, Sangeeta, uh, uh, what did you say Sangeeta, artist and visual? Visual artist and art teacher. Sangeeta, visual artist and art teacher. So make sure you use your first name uh, you can use your full name depending on the platform you are on. So here I give you some example of how I introduce myself uh, on different platforms. Dep um, so it could be Ariane, startup, small business expert, or Ariane, transformative leader. I would use this one more on LinkedIn. Um, Ariane, Eva Morin, CCGM Consulting Limited Director, um, or uh, something more casual, I'm a business co-pilot for startups and entrepreneurs. So there's no right, no wrong. Uh, you can have a couple ready in mind um, and, and vary it. Um, I recently have um, added some of those. Uh, and again, it depends on which platform you use it. Are we good with this? So if you currently have one, uh, as you have shared, Sangeeta, Nina, and Nicola, you might want to think of other ones mm -hmm. uh, to, to play with, okay, as part of your homework. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, number two is state your current position and what you do. Um, so what you have to remember is not everyone will know what your position is. Not everyone will know what a co business consultant is. Not everyone will know what um, um, mindfulness uh, teacher is. Uh, it, it seems pretty obvious to us, but mm -hmm. it might not be. So um, explain in your in explain in in the longer in a slightly longer version, which is here in few sentence. So you've done the number one. You've done I am, and then you're going to add to that. Uh, I help or um, let me see if I give some examples here. I've, I've got, can you hear me all right? Yes, we can hear you, Nicola. Yeah. I've got one that I use, which is on my Facebook page. And I got, I've got, I design style and experiences and products, helping my clients to me feel more fulfilled in life and business. Beautiful. That's beautiful, Nicola. Uh, that's absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm loving this. Um, you can, you, you, you also have to remember to keep it um, fairly simple as well. Um, mm -hmm. People read things very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in the age of information where we 
have information overload. Mm -hmm. And sometimes long sentences might, you might lose people. Um, so I, I keep it very simple. I say I help uh, startups and entrepreneurs get started with their business and, and grow their business. I keep it very simple. My work is much more than that, but uh, very briefly, this is how I explain what I do. And I deliver, uh, and I deliver uh, group training courses, uh, online courses, one-to-one -one strategy <coughs> sessions. So I'm, I, I can make it a little bit more specific and describe um, a little, how do you do what you do? Nicola, how do you do what you do? Um, so if we come back to yours, Nicola, can you re read yours, Nicola, please? I design styling experiences and products, helping my clients to feel more fulfilled in life and business. Because I, yes. I work with people who are in business or people who are just want to change things in life. Yes. So in your, um, in your, um, in your medium intro, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've incorporated what we're going to uh, cover in the longer version, okay? Which is um, your mission, mm -hmm. your, your why, which is great. Why not, Nicola? Uh, you could, you could very, you could well have another version of your intro. Mm -hmm. You could break it down, so you could make the sentence a little bit shorter, mm -hmm. um, um, and you could. Uh, develop a little bit more what it is that you mean. Um, do you see, Nicola? So, I am, um, this is what I do and how I do it. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, what you have just shared, mm -hmm. your mission. Your mission is to, uh, mm -hmm. as you, as you yep. very well okay. explained it. So, there's no, there's no perfect version. I would say, try out different things mm -hmm. and have different things available. Remember this, I, I can see you Nina, let me come to you. <laughs> business um, is always changing. Mm -hmm. uh, you, might, you might come up with new products or services. You, your f business focus might change slightly throughout your business life. So all of those things uh, will have to adapt and change. Mm -hmm. You might grow as a business uh, and uh, as a business owner as well. So all, all those intros, bios uh, will, uh, will change as well. Nina, yes? Uh, yeah, I just want to check. So I've put, um, so I help people over 35 years old deal with stress and pain management. Do, at this stage, should I say over 35 years old or keep that for later for who my client base i think it's important because you already uh, you're clear on who your um your clients are um again you can have different versions you can have one version where you're more general and then you can have a, a version of your intro your bio more specific for example um i wouldn't be so specific when you speak to people in general, um, just introducing yourself, maybe, I would keep it more open. And if they ask, oh, uh, tell me a little bit more about your business, then I would become more specific. So okay, yeah. again, this is, this is from my experience. Uh, sometimes when we have a script in mind, when we have a bio or an intro ready, um, Sometimes when we say it, it sounds a little bit too robotic, too pre-prepared. So try to add a little bit of fluidity and flexibility with it. Uh, and this is why I was saying, try to have diff prepare different versions of your, um, of your in introduction, of your bio. Play with it. Uh, play with it, okay? Let me... Uh, see uh, where we have we have to move a little bit uh, forward time is catching up with us mm -hmm. uh, so here I'm going to share this document with you so don't worry you'll have uh, this with you uh, we said uh, explain your current position and what you do um, share share a professional accomplishment it could be 
um, th this is in your longer uh, introduction, the third one, sharing accomplishments. So I've given you an example here uh, where in uh, one of my intros, um, I share that I have founded uh, the Gaia Network, uh, a community project. It could be, it, it could be something that you, you, um, you got involved in. Uh, it could be you have participated in, uh, um, I'm not, can anyone give me an example? Participated in? So I've, I've participated in coming to London to do a group, to do a talk to uh, Ghana Network. So it yes, could be something absolutely. like that. So rephrase that um, mm -hmm. uh, as part of the homework, Nicola. You could say you, you um, you have delivered mm -hmm. um, you have delivered various presentations helping more specifically women in business mm -hmm. um, uh, dress for success yeah. uh, something like this so mm -hmm. use any of the experiences you have lived for example Maria uh, it could be you have participated in supporting small business owners during challenging times of COVID-19 by sharing your business expertise skills. Mm -hmm. It could be that. Uh, it could be, um, Sangeeta, you have helped, um, you have helped your community, uh, Sangeeta, it could be you have helped your community deal with stress during very challenging time by offering uh, free, uh, free classes. So think, think of what you have achieved with your business uh, and how it has uh, impacted positively your community. Uh, it, could be, it could be one person. Mm -hmm. It could be uh, Vivian. It could be your work has transformed someone's life from nearly giving up to becoming the best version of their of themselves mm. can, can, can you, know. you can you sorry vivian hello vivian <laughs> <laughs> can you also um put in that introduction could you also put for example if i'm talking about the helping women um when i did the talk could you also put at the bottom and here's what they had to say as part like sort of if you've given me a, um sort of a nice testimonial or feedback I could, could I put that in the introduction of that sort of larger one um, if I'm doing that? I would keep that for articles and blogs, Nicola. Okay. Okay. Nothing it shows. Okay. Uh, but I would definitely uh, incorporate those in articles and blogs. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, especially with articles. Mm -hmm. uh, this is where you can share a little bit more about your accomplishments and, mm -hmm. and how it has affected uh, mm -hmm. positively. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, moving on. Um, you can read a little bit uh, later. I've, I've shared some examples. Uh, here, as you can see, is my Instagram uh, intro. It's more fun, it's much more casual. Um, this is this is um, this is for uh, an article that I've written, and here is my blog intro. Uh, so there, I have made varia variations to each intro, and I kept those. So I don't need to create them every time. I can grab them and and use the, the more more appropriate one to whichever context, um, and you can do the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will do the same <laughs> okay now values that's a very important point when you do your medium to long uh, which is number three or number four intro so remember you put all the elements of intro one two three so you add on you add on to all those to create a much longer one so what are your values what are the values that uh, drive you to run your small business. Um, so for example, the, this is very important to share in your, in your website. And I have, I have shared here um, uh, CCGM business values, making a difference, uh, ma making a difference, um, training um, the values, how we deliver 
and integrity, and I have explained uh, the why. I have on um, I have a few occasions um, used quotes in articles or blog that reflect some of my values. So, for example. Um, my training values is to empower small small business owners into learning and and uh, implementing new techniques and new skills to grow their small businesses so i have created a, a quote where i say i will not take work uh, from uh, small business owners if i know that i am un unable to help them uh, so this reflects my integrity value mm -hmm. so you you can again you can have have a structure into your values and then uh, share them more flex with more flexibility mm -hmm. the last point that you can share in your longer uh, introduction point four is a little bit more about you uh, people are curious and they connect much better uh, when you share a little bit more personal things. Now, um, personal does not mean private, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so no naughty websites to be mentioned. <laughs> no, there, there's, there's, a, there's a difference. Uh, there's a big difference. Uh, <laughs> you're funny, Sangeeta. <laughs> uh, there's a big difference between being personal and uh, private, uh, private life. Mm. So being personal is things that people can relate to as a person. What do you like to do outside work? Um, um, for example, uh, I, um, I love cooking. Uh, 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 I, I love cooking, dancing, all those things. And people might connect. Oh, mm -hmm. do, you, do, you do you love cooking? What, what mm -hmm. do you like to cook? Um, so people like to uh, connect and relate. So don't forget this in your longer intro. Uh, so we have here uh, intro one, few words, uh, intro two, a uh, few words plus few sentences. Uh, then we have the medium and a long one. I've shared here an example of a long introduction. I've, I've, I've come across it this week on Facebook. And I, and I thought, wow, that's quite an amazing introduction. So check it out. This, I'm, I'm aware that we're running five minutes late. Uh, and I'll finish shortly. Uh, you can have a read later. This is an introduction that uh, this lady shared in a Facebook group. I personally think that it's a little bit too long mm. to share on a Facebook group. But she managed to make it not only professional, but also uh, quite personal. Uh, so if you, have, if you have a look, what the other thing I really like about her introduction is the structure of it. It's easy to read. So you can have a really scan, you can scan through, and if you're uh, fast reading, you can pick up on uh, the bullet points. And you can see she's being quite personal as well. She's giving information about her uh, personal life, not private life, personal life, so people can relate. And she's keeping the um, tone quite casual, uh, so not so much professional, but she managed to share what she has uh, achieved as well professionally. So again, I'm not saying copy that, no. I just wanted to share an example of longer introduction. Uh, but, but, but Ariane, you could do that in your business page on Facebook. But, but, and basically just to give people a reminder, because not every, you assume everybody knows everything about you, because I'm quite private. <laughs> so yeah, I don't like yeah. to share. So I think if you use something like that and could tail it down a little bit. Absolutely. Then, yes. that, that might be a nice post to do with what you said last week about kind of doing a, a business one then a personal one then something that's more relevant and, and changing it up and doing that sort of based on the posts that you do absolutely so and and she shared a, a nice picture as well not so much um oh what, what is it that uh how did she do that as a post on facebook is did she just post a picture 
But she posted a picture, yes. She posted a, a really nice picture, which I shared uh, there. And, and she had 500 people uh, liking her post. I mean, she's written it very well. It's, yeah. Uh, yes. Once you start it reading it, very, it, it, yes. It feels very personal. You, you feel you can relate to her. Yes, and it doesn't, um, it doesn't stop the fact that she is being professional. She shares her accomplishments. We were, we were talking about accomplishments. Uh, she co-founded a company. She worked for big uh, Fortune 500 companies. So you can see there's quite a bit of uh, background uh, behind her professional experience. But she's keeping the tone nice and light mm. and personal. This is my Friday post then. <laughs> well done, yes. Well, listen, this is, uh, this is your homework. Uh, Sangeeta, Nina, Vivian, Maria, uh, Nicola, okay. Again, if you already have something, why not try variations of them, okay? Take, take a little bit of time and play with it. Keep those, store those. Uh, if you don't have Google, make sure you create a folder uh, where you keep your bios or intros to which you can refer and share whenever you need to. Um, I know that if you have joined uh, the PR challenge back last year, <clears throat> um, um, Lucy had, Lucy the speaker, uh, the, PR, um, the PR business owner had advised every small business owner to create a folder ready for PR uh, pieces, uh, which would have your pict pict professional pictures ready to share, which would have your bios, short and small, um, and some of your uh, awards, uh, uh, for example. So have a space where you keep all that mm. safe. Could, could, um, Ari Ariana, could we, to share. would we be able to do a, a, a topic on that? Because that's the bit that I'm at now where I want to create a, P, a PR, um, sort of that I can just do that, but I'm never 100% sure what to put in. So would we be able to do that on, on one of them? Uh, on one of those, uh, on one of the Tuesday sessions? Yes, yes. Uh, yes, it could be. Uh, we've got four more sessions to go. So till the end of this uh, month. So yes, I will incorporate one. I can only share what I have learned. <laughs> Which I'm sure is absolutely amazing and very yeah. helpful. So I don't know about you, everybody else, but I, I must admit, I mean, there are, I'm quite fortunate. I know a lot of stuff, but as I always say that every time I tap into these Tuesday um, sort of business ones, I learn so much and I might not kind of get around to doing everything, but I do incorporate a lot of this stuff in the things I'm doing. So, uh, so I think they're very useful and, and uh, I find them very very uh, beneficial to me in my business especially uh, now thank you nicola um i t i take that <laughs> <laughs> I take it because it, and we, all, it exactly. we all agree we all yeah. agree with nicola mm. uh, so yes i i will incorporate it uh okay, in there nicola um, thank you I, I will share what i have learned and how to structure it as well so here you go this is your group task week number seven Thank you. Um, good luck with it. Thank you. Um, and uh, we are on for Friday uh, business chats at two o'clock. In the meantime, if you have any questions, if you have written any questions, please do send them uh, by uh, Facebook Messenger. Okay. And have you noticed I've still got Nicola English, the wardrobe provocateur up? <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hang on. Let me see. Sorry, oh. I didn't. I didn't hear what you were saying no i'm saying i've still got because we remember when we did a couple of weeks ago about changing the sort of the the tagline yeah and it's still the same and it's still spelled all correctly <laughs> oh yes i can see um although nicola if i can make a suggestion mm -hmm. where why is it showing let me stop sharing maybe it will show differently oh perfect yes i can see better it yes. wasn't showing fully oh, right. Okay, that's uh, fine. When it, when it was on the... It's Nicola so long. Nicola Nelson, wardrobe provocator. <laughs> Excellent. Still Anita there. as well. You've done it. Uh, amazing. Uh, Nina, you need to update yours. So what does mine say? Oh, so I need to have the, the uh, title. Your business? Yes, yes. I will share a little video. I've done a little video uh, to explain how to do that. 
Okay. Uh, uh, Maria, I can share the video with you uh, as well if you want to change or not. You don't have to. If you uh, and Vivian, well done. Amazing, everyone. Good luck for this week's uh, thank seven. Thank seven. you so much. And yeah, we yeah. Got thank, you, thank you, Aaron. Thank you. Thank you, Ariana. It's, Thank it's, you. And lovely, lovely to see everybody as well. Yes. 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 Likewise. 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 Bye. Likewise. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. Nicola, Vivienne, Maria. Bye.